who am I? Isn't that the question that you ask yourself all the time? And probably have asked yourself that question most of your life. And some people never answer it. I thought I wasn't going to answer it either, but I can answer it for you now. The reason I'm doing this video today is because I want to explain it to everyone. Um, it's really different being on social media because in this day and age with all the um, marketers and everyone out there trying to get somewhere, um, it's can kind of get a little confusing and I've been inundated with all kinds of requests. And so I just need to tell you who I am. First of all, I'm Roger Burnley and I'm 73 years old. I'll be 74 in November, I was born in Chicago. I'm not going to give you the entire story, but let me just tell you this. I've been everywhere. I was born in Chicago. I moved to New York. I then moved to California, and that's where I, this is where I've been since 1982. I've had so many different careers. I started working when I was 15 years old, and um, I've had a lot of difficulties. I had a lot of challenges. I've been through everything. I've seen so much of the world. I've been through changes in our society, in our world, because I've been around for a while, so I do understand things. I've had lots of businesses, different ones, different careers even. I've done so many of them, and some of them made me really popular, really famous globally. So I, I do understand that, which was also really challenging because I was very introverted. I didn't know that was going to happen. And then something else happened. I changed again. We can do that when we start finding who we are. Now my goal is telling everyone else who they are, because that's what I want to see. Because see, when you know that, you live the life you're supposed to have, and then you're contributing to the world in an entirely new way. And then we have a much better world. So I discovered that's what I was given. And it was challenging to understand that and accept it. But then it kind of made sense. Who else could do this except someone like me who has been through absolutely everything in their lives, but has also healed it all? Because that's what we want is healing. And we come into the world a little broken, no matter who we are. We have to, because we're supposed to evolve. And that is moving to a higher state of understanding and consciousness um, of who we are and why we're in the world. We don't live forever. So we have to decide Oh, am I going to do that now? Am I going to take the step to own and become who I'm meant to be? And that is when all the joy happens. But you may have a lot of trauma. You may have gone through so many things in your life that you don't understand. You may have experienced a lot of failures. I know all of them. I've done that. But I also know that it can change. And that's what I'm demonstrating. And that's what I'm bringing to the world. And so in 2020, the world started to change. We all felt it and thought, well, it, it was the pandemic. That's what's going on. I said, no, that's not it. There was more. The world was changing. And I knew that because, see, in 1989, I started receiving cosmic guidance. For all those years, I sat down and I received it every single day. I did not know what I was going to do with it, but it was helping me even though I kept it hidden for about 20 years until other people started finding it. And then I said, okay, I'm exposed now. That's what was happening because what it was giving me was this awareness that I couldn't explain to others, that I knew what would be happening in the world. We all have intuition. I had that as well. Mine started to grow in a different way. And then I discovered I was a mystic. I, I even hid that a little bit. You might have seen some posts that I did years ago where I said I was a reluctant mystic. Actually, there's an article about that I wrote a while ago that's on my website. You can find it there because I knew what was going on. And then um, in 2021, I discovered that I was given very specific information for this time in our world, this transition. And then what happened? I said, if I was given this, maybe I'm supposed to do something with it. And I put these people in a program to see what would happen. And they blew me away because they changed. They started to understand who they were. They started to get out of their own way. They started to do things that were beyond what I could even imagine. And I'm telling you, it freaked me out so much that I was so surprised. And then, then I started to understand it. That's how evolution happens. When we move through something, we gain wisdom, information, however it comes about, and then we give it to others. That's the only way it happens. We can talk about a um, mindset. And all of a sudden, I discovered for 35 years, that's what I've been given. Every time I sat down to write something, I was given some tool 
that would help me work with my consciousness, help me work with my mind and change my mindset. And then the other thing that started to happen, I had so many illnesses and diseases and things that I moved through in my life. And they're all gone. Because that's what happens when you start to connect to who you're supposed to be. All that past trauma, all those things that have gone on before, you can move beyond them. Now, that's not something everyone's going to believe. I didn't believe it either, which is why I talk so much about cognitive dissonance. So we can understand we can be presented with something, but if we haven't experienced it, it's really challenging for us to accept it. It was challenging for me to accept what I had created. But then the other thing happened is this. Other people found me. <laughs> I got pulled out, so to speak. And then they started getting so much from this. But it's all out there. You can see, see all of this. And now what's going on is I'm coming out on a show. And I don't know, maybe a month or so, that's going to go to hundreds of thousands of people where I told them this information as well. Not all of it, but a lot of it. And then I'm going doing something else in October where I'm going to a huge stage, a global stage, where I'm going to be speaking to 180 countries and giving them this information. So what I'm doing now is that I have to catch up. What I mean by that is that, yes, I've done all this work for these 35 years of creating this information because it's turned into a philosophy. And the philosophy was called Your Life Operating Instructions. And I took the elements, the ideas from your life operating instructions, because that's the information I received, and I turned it into a program, an online program called Your Life, Op Your Last Development Program. That's what it is. And what it does is it takes any person to understand their potential, their soul journey, their soul mission, why they're here, and then they start living it. And then if they live that, then they heal. And then just think. If more people did that, don't you think we would see a very different world? Now, that was challenging for me to accept, except that is the information I received, and that's what's going out into the world in, you know, probably about a month or so. But I wanted to tell you, because what's happening is I'm changing things on Monday. And so if you're interested in my work, I would advise you to check it out, and you can come in now. But what it does is it gets you to understand your purpose, your life purpose. That's the thing we're always looking for. When I do a channeling session, I'm always getting more information. We have to accept that we have consciousness. We will access it differently. I just happened to start doing this 35 years ago where I was accessing cosmic consciousness. And then I discovered that everything I had accumulated turned into a philosophy. And the philosophy says... Every single person is born with worth and value. And all they have to do is find out what that is, and then they start to develop it. I was given the tools and the techniques that have come from so many others as well, because that's how we collectively form information. But I was given that, and then the result was it healed me. And that's what I'm giving to others. And so I'm telling you this because I know what you can accomplish. When someone comes to me, for a channeling session, a private channeling session, I can always access the information and who you are, what that purpose is for you. I can always do that. And when I do a, a group channeling session, the same thing happens. And so I'm, I'm actually doing one on Sunday, so you can come to that one and see for yourself. But this is what I'm doing, and I just want to put this out and have it on my pages so everyone understands, because I'm not going to do, <laughs> I'm not doing any other programs. I'm 73. I have to finish this. So um, all the different things that are going on, all the different marketing and all that, I'm not doing that. <laughs> and so I have to finish this. So if you are looking to understand who you are, to reach the highest level of in your life that you can access all of your potential because it doesn't happen overnight. You have to move through everything that you thought you couldn't do and what was holding you back. That's what this work does. And um, when you listen to the testimonials, if you find those on my page, you will also understand that the people you're listening to, their lives were changed, but they only did a portion of the work because I haven't put it out there yet. That's what I'm doing now. And so I wanted you to understand. And so when you can finally answer that question of who you are, your life changes. And that's the work that I'm bringing to the world because I want more people to know who they are. And see, this thing that this philosophy said, it doesn't matter where you were born. It doesn't matter what race, gender, ethnicity, none of that, religion, none of it matters. It is your soul. 
That is the most important thing, and everyone has one. We might not always look at it or believe that, but everyone does, and that's why you're here. But anyway, that's who I am, and I can help you answer who you are as well. All right, see you soon.